Okay, we have more VTuber news. It's getting worse for Niji Sanji. I mean, apparently it's getting worse every day. Why can't this end? It's not ending. It's 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 still going and going and going and never ever ending. It's getting worse for Niji Sanji. Companies pull out. Game devs deny access. Kotika breaks silence. Okay, let's just see. Whole saga of Niji Sanji English terminating Solentaki. A lot of people have been questioning whether Niji Sanji would be able to recover from the losses that they have mm. made during this entire mm. thing. You know, their stock over the course of this last month is down by 10%. That's However, crazy. If you look at the stock over the last couple of days, it has gone up a significant amount. Oh, meaning they are starting to recover. At I least mean, I, I mean, okay, like, to be honest, I mean, I did expect it to recover. I, I don't think that. There's, like, there's no way that when they're, like, a, a billion-dollar company that it's just going to, like, com they're going to, like, completely, like, pr plummet and they're not going to, like, go back onto the upward trajectory. Like, I'm sure, um, sadly, if, if you're, like, you know, want the company to burn and, and die in, like, I would say like, a month or two, like, it's going to go back up. Like, that, 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 you know, that, that, um, trajectory... I would guess it's gonna go back up. I do not expect it to just go down, 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 right? I, I expect it to sort of go back up. Especially um in the sense of the JP side makes the most money. The basically the JP fan base isn't I don't think is really like as mad or really as aware of the situation with Selen or uh, are more in agreement with the company, and that's just sort of just inherently just um based off of japanese people i think more of a cultural thing um i'm not gonna fault japanese people for like wanting the side of the company if they do i won't fault anybody you know it's your own opinions i guess but um you know in the in the long run the niji sanji jp side makes more money than the en side the jp side is what's most important to them and um this actually doesn't really doesn't really affect the jp side of things it really just affects more of the western audience then I would say, like, the Japanese-speaking Niji Sanji audience, and because the Japanese-speaking Niji Sanji audience is the biggest thing, and honestly, I think that even if Niji Sanji cut the EN branch completely and kept the JP branch, they would still be fine. So that's sort of why I think that at, at some point, like, at, you know, after um, some time, they're going to come back in the upward trajectory, just because um, I think that the JP side was it's what's most important and um the JP side I see it just being like not really being affected. I mean you can see by the sub counts that JP members aren't losing subs, it's all the EN members. You can you kinda can kinda see it's it's the English speaking audience that is upset, but it's not really the Japanese side of things. Like I don't think I've heard a Japanese company who backing out or supporting um Niji Sanji, not really at all. A little bit. But you know, it's not always the stock that matters, is what a lot of people have been telling mm -hmm. me. And, you know, in general, it doesn't matter. In the English side of the community, their reputation is tarnished. That's right true, now. yeah. There are tons of people that are no longer going to support this company, and that's completely understandable. Yes. But, you know, mm -hmm. what isn't fine for the company, at least, is people pulling out of them. Like, mm -hmm. companies like Hype, who we recently saw pull oh, out yeah, of that, I mean, that is true. That's going to affect them on the long run. They said, in light of recent developments regarding any color, aka Niji Sanji, Height has made the decision to terminate our current projects with the VTuber group. And this affected three of the Niji Sanji talents who were receiving, you know, a collaboration and having this collaboration with Height. They're no longer going to be able to have those products with them. Now, I honestly doubt those talents were even getting any real big cuts from this, but at the end of the day, that's something that they were working towards and wanted to do. They wanted this collaboration mm -hmm. to happen, so for it to be cancelled sucks for those talents. I mean, honestly, though, it's sort of also unlucky. The fact is, is like, like literally the like two out of the three members are probably like the most hated and like some of the most involved in this like doki bird situation which is elila and enna like elila could like inherently might be one of the most the 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 most involved and probably the most hated person based off of her stream um, a message from Niji Sanji Yen. So, it, I mean, honestly, like, I, I would, I feel like even if they continue this collab, I could see 
a ton of people already just like can't you know, like cancel their pre-orders not buying it you know so in the long run i feel like it makes sense because i feel like you're going to get like public scrutiny basically it's kind of not that it's, it's not their fault it's kind of just really unlucky the members that they got um you know they got the cases for not rosemary though but it and 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 Oila, yeah literally like probably two of the most like you know hated in the community right now Alex. But it's to be expected, honestly, especially after the company said that the losses were going to be negligible to their investors, causing people like Height to just be like, well, if we're negligible, then who cares if we pull out of your company? Mm -hmm. But, you know, collaborations and, and companies like this pulling out of Niji Sanji isn't too big. Yeah, it's deal, not. I guess, it it, it, it isn't. Make money they're a billion dollar company. However, what their livers do as streamers is mostly play video games. So what's going to happen if game developers start saying, no, you cannot play our games on stream because we see you as a brand risk or we just don't like what you have done to your talents. We don't like you as a company, so you're not allowed to play our games. And we actually saw that happen a few days ago. There's this game developer that has this YouTube channel called Loken. And Loken made a video saying, I decided not to give permissions to Niji Sanji. Oh. And in this video, Loken states they're not going to be giving Niji Sanji permissions to play their new game after any color requested to play the game. Meaning their livers wanted the permission to play this game or Niji Sanji themselves thought this game was going to be the next big thing. So they're like, well, let's jump in on this cash cow Ooh. and make videos on it, make streams I on mean, it. And that could actually hurt them in the sense of like, you know, if this game became like um big or something and people started like playing it and they couldn't but okay let's be honest though in the long run i don't think it's really going to affect them unless like big developers decline them and i do not think that like to be honest right and the sad reality is i do not think big publishers most of the time give a fuck like i don't think they really do all the time like i do not see i mean i mean and i could be proven wrong but unless there was like massive publishers declining them i don't really think some like you know maybe semi like smaller games possibly like indie titles people saying no in the long run is really going to affect them that much. Like, I feel like the only way they would really be affected is unless, like, actual, like, big developers or, like, bigger developers decided to decline and not want to work with any color because of what happened. And honestly, I don't necessarily see that happening just because I don't... I mean, some... some um, bigger companies have taken action on things, but I don't necessarily know if, like, a, a big company, like, video game company, would actually take action in, in doing something. I mean, what do you guys think? What do you think, chat? Like, I, I don't, I don't necessarily see it. Honestly, I don't really. Like, I, I don't, I don't really see it, to be honest whatever and have our livers play it the livers likely requested it themselves but either way any color reached out and was like hey can we have perms to play your game whatever like, it does nah. and Loken said no here is what Loken said hello everyone i'm a gamer a game maker and a fan of salem because of what happened on salem i turned it down niji sanji yen and probably cost them so some he, he doesn't specify like what game this is specifically i'm guessing that this might he i'm guessing he's probably like a small it's a small developer i'm not exactly sure um but i i'm guessing you know probably uh you know he's place a it's a bit it's not like a massive like game or anything in in the context of like the developer not saying that this game can't be like big or anything like that i mean but the thing is though like even like um some games you know with like you know some games are like small development teams like from smaller companies that get big like say like lethal company decided to like say no like that would actually be pretty massive just because of the fact is if a game becomes a trend and they can't and no niji sanji person can play it that could like hurt, kind of hurt them, but Niji Sanji will have enough perms. A single any game won't change anything. Yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. Like, I don't think like 
an indie developer, like some small like developer saying no is really going to do anything? Like, is it really? They're a billion dollar company. They have perms to play like a lot of other games. Like, I really do not think that like a small game developer saying no, you can't play our game is really going to affect them that much at all. Like, I just don't think it is. Um, I mean, respect to him for, you know, for standing his ground and, you know, believing what he believes in. Like, respect to that, but just in the long run, I really do not think that this is necessarily gonna have, like, really any effect. Like, they're literally in a billion dollar company. Like, is it really going to affect them? Like, probably not at all. Like, in a realistic sense, it's probably not gonna do anything. Like, um, I mean, even if the game became, like, a lethal company, it's not like it's going to destroy Niji as a whole. Like, yeah, it might be s bad in the aspect of, like, they can't jump on the trend, like, they can't jump on this popular game, but it's not like it's going to really affect them in the long run, like, seriously, you know? Weapon deal. She was fired by any color, and this action triggering a series of PR disaster for any color. It shows the company may not care about its talents and only care about the financial stuff, their money. I'm a solo developer making a game called Hospital 666. This game is inspired by the game CX, Hospital 666 the and the SCP Foundation. This is the type of game that streamers like to stream. At January 17, any color or Nijisanji sent me an email. This email is asking for permission to use my game to stream and make profit. Usually, VTubers live stream the game and the management company make money from the live broadcast. At the same time, game companies have the right to prevent others from live broadcasting and prevent them from using the game content to make profit. I was so what does this say? My apologies for the sudden email. My name is obviously blanked out, and I have work in the Niji in the management the manager apartment for Any Color Inc. We manage a group called Niji Sanji and Niji Sanji En, a virtual YouTuber organization owned by a Japanese company called Any Color Inc. Here's a link to our official website for more information about our company. I am sending this to ask for permission whether it is possible for our group do a live stream or upload a video on streaming platforms while playing your upcoming game, Hospital Zero wait, wait, 666. Also, if it is possible, we'd like to monetize our stream and video by putting up ads and receiving donations from our viewers. I am sorry for the sudden request and thank you for your time. I hope to see, I hope to hear from you soon. I mean, so wait, so it said it's in January, like January 17th. That was a while before, um, right? A bit, like a while, kind of a, like a while before, um, the termination notice. But that was definitely while Selen was, um, you know, basically just gone, like disappeared. Um, so maybe that's the case, but I don't know how long it took him to respond, but, um, I don't, I don't know. Besides, if they abstain from Powell World, they will be fine with cutting losses with a few similar games. I don't really think it's a move to ruin the company. I don't think he's the type of person who announces that him not being in the company totally ends them. It's a personal stance for and for yeah. I'm just like um, in in the I'm just saying in the context of like okay, if developers were like you know indie or like small developers were just like oh, okay i don't want you to play my game would that actually like, affect them in the long run this is more of like a personal thing like a personal developer of his own game like standing you know holding his ground based on his personal beliefs and i respect that right thinking that is great I can see my favorite VTubers like Selen and Solomon to play my game. But yes, it happened. On February 5th, Nijisanji EN announced that he will be terminate Selen. What? Why? After seeing more and more information coming out, I find that Nijisanji is really bad. The company's management was only announcing that it did not affect their stock price. Are you serious? How could a management company be so poor at public relations? I was still thinking, this can be a good thing. Loki has her fans everywhere and this can be a freedom to her. But what's come next is the worst. 
letting their VTubers to make announcement on behalf yeah, that of was the terrible. company that was, that that was that fucking atrocious. They should turn their reputation around by announcing something. They shouldn't have announced. I don't think I've seen anybody, like literally anybody, like agree or like like that um, announcement stream from Elilo. I don't think I've seen a single person like actually like say they thought that was a good response. Like, which is kind of crazy, like... ...about their VTubers. So while I might lose millions of views on YouTube or millions of dollars from sales, the only action I can take is to not give Liji San GEN permission to stream or use my game. For others VTuber company, you get my permission automatically. I hope other corporate VTuber have better days. And make sure you subscribe to Donkey Bird. So Logan deciding to not give permissions to Niji Sanji, despite that possibly meaning he's going to lose out on millions of dollars, is absolutely based. I yeah, I, I, res I respect that. that, yeah. I'm definitely going to try playing the game on stream whenever it does come out myself, and I hope other VTubers and streamers pick up the game as well. Hopefully, Loken is able to, you know, make this game a big thing. Mm. Also, Loken literally said every other agency or anyone that wants to play this game can. Any color is the only company they are denying all because of the situation going on around Selin Totsky. So, so far we have a company by the name of Hype pulling out Niji Sanji and now we have a game developer of an indie game saying you cannot play our game. This is honestly just the start of what's to come probably. I will not be surprised if we see Niji Sanji losing access to certain games. People believe EA might pull out and say yeah you cannot play Apex. People think other companies they already have permissions for as well are going to pull out. People think even more developers in the future are going to just deny them especially when it comes to indie developers because they want to support Doki and indie VTubers and the talents that are inside of Niji Sanji. I will say it sucks for the talents that are inside of Niji Sanji that have to deal with this. They're not allowed to play certain games if they get denied access. But unfortunately for them, at the end of the day, they work for Niji Sanji and Niji Sanji has tarnished their yeah, reputation sadly. with fans and, and yeah. developers. Mm -hmm. They're done. Their yeah. stock may be going up and they're almost certainly going to recover financially. Yeah. But at the end of the day, but, if their talents are unhappy... Yeah, but their reputation has been soured and can't really help that, right? Like, you know, money, money, I mean, I guess in a, in a company sense, money, money helps, but money's not going to help your reputation. I mean, I guess you could, in, I don't know, I guess you could invest if you wanted to actually fucking invest in making things better, you could do that, but they're not going to, I don't think they are going to do that, right? I mean, if they actually gave a shit, they would have invested their money into an EN to make it better in the, in the first place, you know? That's why, that's why Tazumi's response is so, like, um, hard to believe when he's like, oh, you know, we're gonna, like, do things, and we're gonna, like, get, like, more staff and, like, help the EN branch. It's like, why did you not just do that before? Should, isn't that something you should have been currently doing, you know, before any of this happened? Why is it, why are you only doing this now after a massive scandal like i feel like this is something you should have just been doing before to make your company um make your em branch like better and then safer and a healthy environment like in a general sense like way before any of the silentia ever happened and you should have put money into that and invested into that when the em branch started getting bigger you should have helped but you didn't. I mean, and it kind of shows in the sense of XKR and XID, they didn't put resources into them, they let them die, and they didn't help them. And it shows this in the context of, like, when you see, um, you know, when you see Cover Corp, because, honestly, if you look at Niji, so if you look at any color, if any color had the same thing as of, like, a uh, Hollow Stars and a Hollow Live, I don't know, like, whole, like any color definitely would not invest as much as Cover Corp invests in Horror Stars and helps Horror Stars out and gives Horror Stars free performances, gives Horror Stars merch. Like, even if Horror Stars is significantly smaller than Whole Life, and logically speaking, if they were money hungry, they honestly should just invest all their money to Horror Life. But because they care, they actually care about the talents, and I, I do believe that Yago believes in Horror Stars getting bigger over time. He's investing into Horror Stars, but if I think any color, 
how I see any color, how they would have handled horror stars in that context, I really do feel like they probably would have just cut, snipped it, you know, cut them off or probably give them significantly less resources in comparison, you know, to the other branches a lot bigger. Because in the long run, let's be honest, Holy Stars is significantly smaller than Whole Life. It's not even, it's actually not even comparable. It really isn't. Like, if, if Cover Corp wanted the money, they probably would just invest everything into Whole Life. If they cared about money. If, like, if money was all they cared about. They continue losing talents at a steady rate. It's only a matter of time before they either have to shut down the English branch or they shut down entirely. Now, this problem isn't that big of an issue inside of Niji Sanji, the main branch, but Niji Sanji English, I would not be surprised if they ended up merging it much like they did with ID and KR. It'll suck for fans of Niji Sanji English because much like ID and KR, they weren't receiving much support from Niji Sanji once the merge happened. Even before the merge, they weren't receiving all too much support, but once that merge happened, it was just like, yeah, they don't really exist anymore. So if that were to happen in Yishanji English, it would be detrimental to their community. I personally don't see that happening, but it is on the table. But now I want to take a look over at Kotoka Torihime of Nijisanji English, who has been silent for a while and broke that silence finally. She said, apologies for the silence. I saw a doctor recently and what they diagnosed me with really proved to me that I need time to mentally heal. I'll still upload songs since those are what keeps my mind up. I saw this and honestly, I thought the responses were gross. Like, there were, like, people just speculating, Oh, really? Are you sure about that? Like, fuck off. Okay, I'm sorry. When anybody, like, okay, this is how I see things. When somebody talks about, like, their health and their well-being, I'm always just going to give the person the benefit of the doubt. And that's, that's having empathy, right? And that's having sympathy. That's, like, that's empathy and that's sympathy. Like, when somebody is fucking sick and unwell, why don't you just wish Kotika look like a good, like a fast recovery, or wish her well instead of going like, "Ow, oh, well, I wonder." Hmm, this is probably management doing some random shit. It's like possibly, but it's like it's not really helping anybody to like fucking speculate and like make some conspiracy theory about Kotika's health. Like, I get it in the context of what happened to Selene, but, like, we don't really know, and it's just, I don't think it's the right, like, especially when people are talking about their own health and their own well-being, I just don't think it's, 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 like, um, kind. I just think it's a bit insensitive to do, you know? I just, I just don't ethically or, like, morally agree with it. I don't like, like, speculating about people's health and their own well-being. Um, that's sort of, for me, where I draw the line in that context. EA is kind of like any color money. Honestly, yeah. But streams will only happen when I'm well. Thank you for understanding. Receiving replies from people like Uki saying, take care, girl. Please let me know if you need anything or if there's anything I can do to help. There was also Maria Marinette who said, rest up, Koto-chan. If you ever want to play games offline, hit me up. And she received tons and tons of more replies of people wishing her well and hoping that she gets well really, really soon. I do hope Kotoka is able to take time away from streaming and take as much mm -hmm. time as she needs away mm -hmm. to rest up mentally. This yeah. situation has honestly been affecting a lot of people's mental health and i want to just honestly say, yeah please make sure understand water every day and yeah. taking care of yourself if this situation is pissing you off and you're arguing with people and catching yourself getting upset or depressed over it please take time away yes so like step away so like don't like become like emotionally like invested into this like so much that you're like i don't know you're terminally on twitter you're terminally online like <laughs> like nah, -uh, like you have a life. Like there's so much things that are more important than fucking you know um getting emotionally invested in VTuber drama. Like there really is. Okay, I don't know. Go outside, no. Get some like hoes. Get some bitches. I don't fucking know. You know, touch some grass. Go out there and like eat some grass or something. You know, get laid. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't what you want to do, but you know, there's a lot better things you could be doing than like crying over like VTubers or like you know getting mad and emotionally invested in like VTuber drama. You know, 
situation go outside watch anime play video games stop focusing so much on this situation Please i, I make agree sure you're taking care of yourself because that is the most important thing to do and on that topic i want to take a look over at doki bird because she tweeted out thank you everyone for your kindness i feel with all this new attention and eyes on me i really wish directed at something positive we can do together i have set up a fundraiser on my channel's free chat to support mental health this is also an open fundraiser so any channel can join in i will be doing a charity slash fundraising stream with stretch goals and donor incentives next week more information will come out soon as i'm still organizing it and figuring out the details i can't believe you've all donated so much even before i was able to officially announce it please remember that you all matter and you are important in this world as long as we are here together we can make a small change in this world for something better i'll be offering alternatives for worldwide options soon as well since the youtube feature is not available to everyone so this has already reached i think wow. twenty five thousand dollars and is nearing in at that's crazy that's Doki that's Bird actually insane live to push the wait donation. that's insane what the fuck patience for it which is absolutely insane i do recommend going to go check this out i will leave the link down in the description for you to do that so. is actually but insane that's all for me guys please let me know what you all think about everything we talked about down below and have your okay thank you for watching um let me know in the comments what you guys think please you can subscribe if you'd like to see more um beach news and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye